How do you feel? Feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, just happy to be back here. And uh, just took some time off, came back because I wanted to start like working on my knee and working on my back, get myself in shape. You know, build a good foundation. Uh, you know, just going into the summer. What did you think when you saw number one pick? I was happy. I was happy. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was great. Great for the organization. You know, fun and entertaining for the NBA. And uh, you know, I'm glad. You know, luck is on our side. I think that those two picks will definitely um, make us a better basketball team, and that's the most important. Do you have any guys that stand out to you that you would like the team to pick or draft? Uh, just whoever's best. You know, the the best and most dominating players. You know, we have the one pick. You have top five picks. You just have to pick the players that you think are going to be the best and have the, the most upside. We talked during the season about you taking on a mentor role, maybe for the first time in your career. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's looking like it's going to be Kyrie. Is that are you okay with that? Is that no, I'm, I'm great with that. I think that uh, you know, for what I've been through in my career, you know, for coming into this league and you know playing against all the top guards, uh, you know, from John Stockton, uh, Gary Payton, now the Derrick Rose, you know, Steve Nash. Balling out with guys like that, uh, it would be great for me to, you know, mentor, you know, a uh, young point guard, and just have that re relationship. Uh, you know, uh, myself and Sessions were doing that a lot uh, towards the end of the season, so you know, it'd be great, great, you know, a great addition. If we do get another point guard to to be able to be that mentor, and, you know, go out with a bang and, and know that you know I'm leaving leaving the game in good hands. Mm -hmm. Do you, you know see much? him play much? Yeah. No. Not much. I mean, just as much as anybody else. Mm -hmm. Where have you thought of when you see him? Uh, very, very, you know, quick, quick, explosive. Uh, just a good all-around player. You know, a good basketball player, which is important. You guys talked about getting together this summer, either in North Carolina with Twan, or maybe you taking guys to Vegas or LA. Has that happened? Do you have plans of that? Or yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. Uh, you know, secret. <laughs> it's a total secret. We're not telling you anything about it. Uh, we won't tell you after we do it either. <laughs> but uh, we do. We, you know, we do. Uh, that's why. We're, that's why a lot of us are here now. You know, knowing that when the summer comes, that you know we want to be prepared. You know, wherever we have to go to play and, and, and just be together and just spend some time. You know, as a team, as a family, and get ready to build for next year. You expect everybody to be at that, or just the young guys? Or? Uh, everybody. You know, everybody who's willing and able. I think that uh, you know it'll just show a commitment. You know, for for who's committed. You know, to this team, for, for this team for next year. How's your knee doing? It's doing well. You know, knee's doing well. Back to uh, playing pickup, and uh, you know, strength training, and being able to actually run and jump, and you know, do the things that I wasn't able to do <laughs> when I was playing here. So. You know, uh, just to continue to build and build on a strong foundation and uh, get stronger and stronger. You know, I'm looking forward to next year. How how much time are you going to spend in Cleveland during the off season? Have you figured it out yet? Uh, just you know, however much time permits. Um, you know, I am going back to school, so you know, a big part of my summer will be dedicated to going back and get my education. But you know, every two weeks, a week, uh, I can come and get here and you know, uh, get some good workouts and just some good training and just be here. Be great for me. Where are you going back to school? UCLA. UCLA. What do you uh, study? <coughs> uh, can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, history. History. History and a uh, minor in film and television. D is that a recent thing going back, or have you been doing this little by little? No, nah, I just started. You know, I was just like, you know, I started uh, this summer. It was something that I wanted to commit to, especially since my grandmother has passed. You know, and uh, she always wanted me to get my degree, so I figured. And I just dedicate my summer to you know start making those strides. How Pretty much you have close? Left? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm about two years away. I mean, I'm not far, but I'm not, I'm definitely not close. <laughs> 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 Got to reprogram my brain, but that, that'll be cool though. Has the classes started already? No, start no okay. starts uh, in July. Is it, is it tough? Can't try to, to going go back, back to school. Uh, I mean, not for me now because you know all the classes that I'm going to take or the classes that I'm signed up for are things that I want to learn now, you know, uh, when you're in school and, you know, and I don't know how to s say this, but, you know, you're studying stuff that you're like, you know, how am I going to use that in life or what does that matter to me? And, and then you get out in the world, you start traveling and, you know, history becomes, you know, one of the most important things to you. So, you know, for me, I do a lot of traveling, so I, I love to, you know, study the world and study the people of the world. and. You know, now my brain is, you know, kind of ready to receive that than when I was 19 years old.
Uh, what kind of example do you all day? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of example do you think it sets for for kids like uh, Terrell? Yeah, yeah. Terrell, I think I think um, you know I, I just think it sets a, a you know a good example. Um, you know, just to have a connection with Terrell and uh, you know the kids upstairs, um, and then for them to see you know to follow me and to see me doing these things just you know reinforces the message that you know I'm telling them you know when I'm speaking to them uh, individually. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel school is very important, you know, just just for everybody. You know, we, we, we all need to be more educated. Uh, we're living in a world where uh, ignorance is prime. And, uh, you know, people have short-term memories. And I think that, you know, uh, it's affecting our kids. And, you know, it's affecting them in the school system and, you know, even when they get home. So um, they are a lot smarter than where, where we were you know, at their at their age, and I think that uh, we have to continue to encourage them to just, you know, uh, study education and you just, you know, pursue your dreams through education because the world is, you know, so much more open than it was even when I was a kid, you know, uh, when we were kids. So, you know, I think it's important, you know, to continue to just drive school and drive school and, 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 and just really focus on these kids and, our, and, and their future because they are our future, you know, and, and the seeds that we, you know, plant in them, you know, we want them you know, to be able to return, you know, good things. Baron, if there is a lockout, are you concerned that it's going to last a long time or uh, drag on like the last one did? Or? You know, hopefully not. Uh, you know, there's a lot at stake for both sides. Um, you know, and I think that, you know, everybody tries to pick, you know, one against the other when it's a collective effort. And I think that we all have to collectively, you know, agree on something uh, because, it, you know, it's ultimately for the fans for the people who come and support us and uh, a lot of times you have to set your ego aside and uh, you know just be willing to deal and, and, and look at the overall and the bigger picture so you know let's hope that um, it's, it doesn't happen you know that we can come to an agreement but until then uh, you know we just have to make the best you know, business decision for for us as a league collectively. What, okay. What, do, what did you. Terrell say that made you pick him? out of anybody else, out of all the groups to come down here and pitch? Well, I, I think the fact that, uh, you know, his message was uh, more so dedicating himself and committing himself now to be willing to help people. And uh, no matter uh, which way that is, how that is, you know, he's going to take the proper channels. And, you know, what made me pick his essay was uh, it, it was more mapped out. You know, he had, um, he had a focus, you know, he was focused and he knew exactly where he wanted to go and what he wanted to do and what he wanted to be. You know, kind of when I walked in the room, he seemed like he knew that he was going to win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play baseball? No, uh, I, have a, I have one baseball story. I was, uh, I think the Dodgers won the World Series. Um, I was like, all right, I'm trying baseball. I go out, uh, put me in center field, catch everything, put me in shortstop, short hop. Pop me in the lip and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone.